appreciate you for uh, returning. I'm still continuing this thing about my journey and just uh, eating healthier, a plant-based diet. So, <clears throat> so uh, last time we left off, we were on. So let's, let's discuss some. That's my 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 beginning journey. Uh, it's being vegan. So it was 2009. You know what I'm saying I did my my fast or whatever, but I, I didn't return to eating meat. Um, but but the dairy I still dealt with sometimes. You know what I'm saying I still put put in. I guess I guess I would never my homeboys. I went out to this place called Sweet Tomatoes. I don't think it's in every state, but you know, it, it, they had the macaroni in there. I was always eat, and and I was, you know, I would eat my mom's too. And whenever I saw her, whenever I was taking a break from college, in between semesters, but um, but other than that, I just I stayed away from all meat. I stayed away from you know, dairy for the most part. So I got and she, I was still you know, doing eat, eating a lot of starch stuff too, eating a lot of the the transitional vegan vegetarian stuff that you would see in the stores and in, uh, in the market and everything. But that, that that's not something I would I would like ever stay on. I'm saying that the transitional uh, uh, vegan foods. I'm saying not, not unless you like you trying to like work some magic with it, but. I don't, I don't eat those things too much. You know what I'm saying that's uh, usually for the for, for the soy content, and you know what I'm a lot of that should be probably heavily processed too. Most of it, not everything, but you know, at the time, I was you know, probably eating the worst of it. You know what I'm saying? The Morning Star, <laughs> they had the barbecue red things. I used to you know eat those sometimes. Shit, this, this, this and this is like I said, this transitional food. Eventually, I got to a place where I could you know, cook on my own, have my own fridge, well, not my own fridge, but you know, have my own space, and I began to try you know, just um just adding a little bit more style to what I was cooking. You know what I'm saying, tried out some new herbs, some new spices to the to the starch food that that's the, that I had. Like by the time I had a, a a room a spot on my own, I stopped living living off campus, living on campus. You know, it, it was about by the time I had met my son's mom, and uh, shit, when you when you become vegan and shit, man, look, it, your your social life changes a whole lot. You know what I'm saying, you you might have been able to talk about talk to your friends about anything, you know what I'm saying, you, you don't know what they'll say to you when, when they come up, you know, it might just be, I mean, what's going on today, but when you decide to change the way you, that you eat for some reason, you see the, the only topic is food, or, or, or making jokes, or some shit like that, and at least that's how the shit was for me, you know, so, I mean, socially, I was just known as that vegan, that vegan guy now, the, the uh, Vegetarian guy, and uh, everything else about me, most things about me, it, it was just pretty much. Oh yeah, he does that too. Okay, cool. He knows that too. Okay, but it was mostly just uh, the vegan shit. So whenever the homeboys or f f family or I don't know, whoever that I knew came at me, it was usually about some food shit. So, it wasn't much for me to like say or do with many people. Then um, when I had met my son's mom at the time, I was going through a lot and all that shit. So I, you know, I just wanted, you know, some kind of like a, a middle ground, I guess. So, shit, I, yeah, so somehow I had went back for maybe like a, a couple months. To eating uh, fish uh, from this restaurant called Snappers. I don't know if they're in every other state, but shit, uh, down here in Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, 
um, you know, it, it's, the thing is pretty much everywhere. It's kind of like this fried fish, fried chicken, seafood kind of place. So, um, I would eat that sometimes with, with my with my son's mom. You know, just to you know, it, it disengage myself in that, in that relationship more, be more relatable. You know, it, it's not, you know, definitely ain't, ain't something I would do for anybody these days, but like, back then, I just, I guess, like, this is my reasoning for that. Plus, my, my emotional stability at, at that time was kind of shaky, you know what I'm saying, it was, it, it was stern, but like I said, I wanted, I, at that time, I just want, wanted that, uh, that connection with somebody, so I, I just kind of like, just, just gave up a piece of my discipline, but that was just for a couple months though, two, three months maybe, uh, by the time, uh, uh, by the time my, my son was conceived, that's when I was thinking, I, like I really gotta step my game up and you know, just just go in harder with the studying, you know, so that I can so that I can you know te teach my son health, but I also had to live that shit too. So, I, you know, we gave up the the, the, the um the what the fuck caught fish. We gave going going to snappers and said, you know, no, they went even harder with my vegan stuff. I ain't, I I didn't eat any kind of dairy at, at, at the at the restaurants. I chilled out with my, with my mom's dairy too. My my mom's uh, mac and cheese, and, and this is like at the end of 2011, I say. That's when I just, just fix myself up, and I just got to the point where, like, I understand what I'm, like, what I'm doing is now. It's, yeah, it, I, I got a little bit more, more spiritual with my shit too. I just felt like spiritually, you know, at that time, I, I, I could, I could do a lot better. I can have a lot more clever ones if I went the plant-based route. So, I mean, that's just. I said that that's the the beginning stage of like where I where I'm at now. You know, st still like a real big studier I was, and yeah, I just strengthened up. I just felt like, you know, how can I spell my spell my child to do better if I can't do better? So <laughs> once once he was born. My son, I mean, he used to the same way I do as well. Very picky, but you know, he's just like me. The only time he ever had uh, uh, any, like any kind of animal, uh, animal product was with the first day he was born. He was born in the hospital. He was born in the, in, in the hospital. They gave him um, some 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 cow milk formula kind of shit. You know. Yeah, that at first, but the but the day he came home, I had my own products for him. Not products from other people, but something that I made. I should have made that thing a product and sell it or whatever. But uh, no, I had some, so some some almond milk that I made. I had some some blend. I, I took that as a liquid base, blended it with some herbs, some raw fruits and vegetables, different different things, different days. I blended all that up, and you know, I had, that, that was enough for my son. It allowed him to grow, and he had that in the bottle. His uh, my son's mom did, uh, she, she didn't breastfeed, so so that's I just knew I had to make my own shit. Cause I, I didn't too much trust uh, trust the, the formulas on the sh on the shelves either. You know I'm saying a lot of that thing has heavy metals in it. Toxins and preservatives and all that bullshit. I wouldn't advise anybody taking part in any of that. You can make your own. I'm saying, and it can be a whole lot cheaper than getting formula from the store. 
all you gotta do is you know, use some herbs, some some raw fruits and vegetables, different things at different times. You know what I'm saying? But if you study what herbs and and foods have this sort of a fucking amino acid, this this vitamin or whatever, you can get whatever you need. A, a goddamn protein ain't nothing but a block that's full of different amino acids. So the the, the if you eat a, eat a variety of things, you can have what you need for that one protein. You know what I'm saying, but really that the, the things are, are already complete. You know what I'm saying you get you get nourishment from being outside. You get nourishment from having a calm mind. You get you get nourishment from the waters. So you ain't look that that protein shit, man. It's, it's, a, it's just you need to stop. That's probably the. Of course, I mean, it's a question I get asked the most. So, I speak, people just don't know. So, I, I, mean, I, I, I still get my swole on, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't skinny, I ain't, I ain't weak, nothing like that. So, I, people just say, no, they ain't did this, they, they been taught wrong. And, and they just grew up with that shit being the norm. So... Anyway, my son was still getting everything that he that he needed. No cow DNA, which was meant for um, a, a baby calf to grow to be hundreds and hundreds of pounds. You know what I'm saying that's what that milk was for. He, he, you know he ain't had none of that. My 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 son ain't having none of that. So, only time he had, but the only time he had you no know, something outside. Of the plant-based diet was like I said from the hospital. It was you know, a couple, a couple times. A family member had gave him some, some motherfucking piece of hut. <laughs> Cause it, my, my son he loves pieces, uh, uh, vegan pieces. You know what I'm saying he has that. He has some, some, some something that we get from the store, and we, you know, we, we make that a lot. Uh, it's, it's not something I'll eat on a, on a. Eat that much. I'm, I'm, you know, personally tired of it. But oh yeah, yeah, it's a stove by piece that they be getting. I, tr I, I try to encourage him to make his own. So I, I be kind of, you know, pretty much a do-it-yourself kind of, kind of plant-based eating. You know what I'm saying? From, from it ain't just rice and beans and pot and pasta, spaghetti, and all that stuff. Is um, lasagna. Uh, uh, the, 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 I mean, I make a pizza from scratch. Motherfucking uh, jackfruit nuggets. Goddamn cauliflower wings. Zucchini baked fries. Goddamn it. Um, uh, Jamaican beef patties. I'm saying all, all the shit is vegan. Shit, what, else, what else I do? Pancakes, waffles. It's uh. It's chickpea it's a scramble that I make, you know, since so something that kind of res res resembles omelet or eggs and shit. I make my own goddamn cheese ca with cashew cheese, nigga. Hey, I mean, I don't play. Like, this, <laughs> like, this, 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 this shit, I should, this shit I, I do on my own. I don't need, like, the store or nothing like that. Unless I need, like, so, some actual real, real food or. or Shit, a, a brown, a quinoa noodle, or something like that. But hey, shit, really, I, I need a lot from the store because I, I don't have my own garden. Shit, I'm staying in, in an apartment right now. But hey, I, I mean, I can see myself like developing and growing like I have in, in the last ten years, and it's allowed me to. Let's just be in this way, eating this way. It's allowed me to be like more resource, resourceful. You know what I'm saying this shit. This shit has allowed me a lot of. Spiritual development as well. I remember going on the fast and uh, like another fast. Once I got like really serious into it, it's like uh, I think it was uh, uh, 2012 and the beginning of that. I did this 21 day liquid fast and just like discovering my body and the toxin that was in it. Right now, I still had goddamn chicken in my colon. You know what I'm saying? It's um. It was some nasty shit in there, but hey, doing the fast, like I said, it 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 puts you, it, it reformats your mind, puts you to 
through different things and it will evolve you show you how strong you are it will allow your intuition to speak louder so hey this this is just me doing all that so, I mean it, it helped me uh, make the it help, just helped me be the strong man that I am today a strong soul a strong entity and it's, it's something to be I, I mean I understand it, 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 it looks tough from the outside, but you know, just people don't know how easy it is for the, the, the mind to change. It, it doesn't know shit about reality unless it's, it's constantly doing it. So, it's just, a, it's just a tool, a processor. But we become slaves to a, a lot of our senses to the point where a lot of this shit is drugs to us. And hey, this shit just ain't safe. Yeah, that's when you doing that fast, that liquid fast. Not only did I, I do like a cleansing of the body, but I feel like I did a cleansing of the spirit a little bit too. And with the time I had my first outer body experience, when I did some some meditation, got to, got some some slow breathing. It ain't last too long, but yeah, I just, I just stopped fearing death at that point. I just re realized this is what life and death was about. The G-O-D, the generator, operator, and destroyer. I realized that that was me. So, I mean, this shit scare a lot of people. But, you know, it's, it'll, it'll definitely help you be certified. Not, like, once you first started. Not, once, not in the first few years. Cause I definitely wasn't certified in the first few years. I was still learning a whole lot. But when you know what you're doing with this shit, when you got a purpose for it, when you feel... Like this shit, this this something in your soul, that that you on on your on your own path. Hey, uh, those who know, I mean, they know. It's just the value in that, and it's something that everybody can do. I mean, do I really gotta like go through all the stats and just t tell you how good this shit can be? Just eating this way. I, I, it, I, it, that, it ain't that kind of ch channel you know what I'm saying At first it's about music Then I just got into this shit I'm just speaking about some shit that I, that, I, that I know Some shit that I know that needs help Some shit that I know that needs healing So Hey Been a vegan for 10 years And Like I said I learned a lot from it And The world can learn a lot from you if you go that route too. So you know, keep 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 doing you. But I mean I just wanna let y'all know y'all can do y'all y'all ain't always gotta do what y'all been groomed to do, you know what I'm saying? That's like some old guy shit. This is a new era where you can define your own way of living, your own mindset and 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 apply your own magic to wherever you you, you see fit. I'm saying that as long as you are within your own space and you know your energy, and just be careful how you be inviting other energies into your shit. You know what I'm saying? You might not know what to do with it. So, yeah, I think I'm, uh, I'm just for, for now, I still want to do some vegan talk later, some plant based talk later, but this shit, for now, I just want to end this shit. That's time to sign up for watching the video. Y'all keep doing y'all thing. Keep y'all first eye open. You know what I'm saying? Peace.